I'm Sarah Bakri and you are watching She's All That. Today is your lucky day and you are in for a surprise. Before I share my surprise, please click like and subscribe to this channel for more videos about self-improvement and entrepreneurship. Surprise! I am creating a new playlist under this channel called Lessons I Learned in Business. As the title goes, I will be sharing the lessons that I learned in running my own business. For those who are new to this channel, for those who do not know me personally, here's a short introduction. My name is Sarah Bakri and I run a company called The Best Events Productions, a brand experience agency. And what we do is we produce events, we produce media content, and we also provide retail solutions. I've been a business owner for four years and if you ask any business owner, if you ask them how's it like running your own company, I bet they will tell you that it is very very tough. Tough but rewarding of course. Although I've only been in the game for four years, I have learned a lot and I hope that through these videos that I make, I am able to share these lessons with you and share my mistakes that I've made so that you can save your time, energy and money from repeating the mistakes that I make and ultimately save yourself. I hope that when you encounter the same sticky situation that I am in, you are able to recall my voice and prevent yourself from making the wrong decision. In my personal experience, I have been fortunate to be given the advice and guidance by a lot of people, my colleagues, my co uh, co-workers, my partners, my mentors that has guided me and that have guided me and have helped me shape the person that I am today. I am really really thankful for all of you. Now on to the good stuff. Today's lesson meet the person that you are hiring before you meet them. Sounds simple, right? In theory, yes, that is what we're supposed to do. But unfortunately, we don't always do it. For me, I always do it too, but one time I slipped. Okay, story time. I had an event that was coming up, a two-day event coming up, and I needed to hire someone for these two days. I went through LinkedIn and found someone who seemed to be perfect for the job. This person had an incredible online presence. The portfolio was amazing. I watched this person's videos. I read this person's testimonials. I texted this person and I even spoke to this person on the phone. After speaking, after talking to this person on the phone, I decided I am going to hire this person. So I told this person, you are hired. And I haven't even met this person. Came the briefing day, the day where I meet this person and brief this person about in more detail about the job scope and also to go over some documents. When I met this person, oh my God. This person was not as I pictured this person to be through the videos and through the phone calls. Me and my business partner did not vibe with this person at all. This person was not well versed in the subject of the event, that of the job that I am hiring this person for. And most importantly, at that moment, I discovered that this is not the best person for this job and I hired this person. Thankfully, the job is for two days only and I managed to hire this person only for one day and found another, another person for the other day. I did not want to take back the job because I already offered it and I felt that it would be unethical for me to do so. So, lesson learned. Meet the person that you are hiring. Okay, what if the person you're hiring is across the globe? Have a video call, right? Have a Zoom call, have an online interview. 
look into each other's eyes you're going to want to look at the person face to face and have a feeling of how you are going to work together yes qualifications can be checked online but what we're aiming through this face-to-face -face meeting is we're aiming to get a feel of how this person is we want to feel this person's energy we want to know what's their attitude which can be shown through body language and how they respond to questions asked. We want to feel if we can sync, if we can vibe together. We want to get a feeling if we can sync, if we can vibe together. It's difficult to work with someone who doesn't understand your vision. And of course, this is the time where you can test the knowledge of this person to see whether this person is knowledgeable in that subject do this all the time even for a full-time job or even for a short gig and that is the business lesson for this week i will be posting another video next week tuesday i really hope this was helpful please click like and subscribe and do share this video with your friends with your hr manager with your colleague with your co-worker that's next to your cubicle at work which you haven't seen for some time because of the lockdown please share this with them and spread the love um, i'll see you next time bye